good team exclusive and welcome back to a new video on the channel uh today we of course are talking about something a little different today and i wanted to just kind of give my honest opinions and reactions to this whole travesty that's going around and i'm sure obviously you can tell by the title uh, it's all about the new super league i'm sure everybody under the sun every news outlet every footballing source across the internet is, is talking about this so i'm, I'm sure uh, you're probably sick of seeing this and this is why i'm I wanted to do it on the end screen so there'll be a couple of videos uh, up above me so if you don't want to watch this uh, and maybe you, you don't care or you've seen enough of this and it's really not of any interest to you at all there'll be a couple of videos up top so you can watch something else if you really want to but i want to get my opinions across about this because uh this this whole calamity uh going across football affects the club that i love which is arsenal and not only affects arsenal of course it affects uh every club across the world the the supposed big six in in the premier league uh it affects inter ac milan juventus real madrid uh barcelona all that kind of stuff i, I think there's a few more that i'm forgetting but um that could be it actually. I, I, I can't really remember i know there's 12 clubs currently i think this whole super league thing they want 15 uh, and whatever but yeah for those who don't know this european super league is a new um competition competition essentially that uh you know these these big six which is uh man city arsenal tottenham manchester united chelsea um i think that's and liverpool sorry and liverpool as well um yeah they want those big brand name clubs as well as barcelona real madrid juventus ac milan uh inter milan um and i, I think they they kind of wanted they want psg and bayern and rb leipzig but they refused very you know you know gladly gladly refused um and i think they also want like porto and uh, a few other clubs as well but uh, yeah so they want all these big big name clubs to join up to this one big money pot league uh where it's never going to change all these big name clubs will play play each other over and over and over and over and over again uh week in week week out and they'll just earn bank from it basically is the premise they'll just earn bank and this whole thing is driven by greed and desperate need for money more money like most of these clubs like man city they don't need more money they just want it they just want more money and that's the biggest problem is all of these american owned clubs arsenal um manchester united obviously with the glazers who are just pure scum uh, a lot of big name premier league clubs and i'm sure clubs all over the world owned by these american american owners and i saw this video on sky sports news which uh, you should definitely check out. I think it's called, um, it's not a civil war, it's a nuclear war. They were talking about, uh, or they were, they were speaking to somebody who was a board, uh, on the board of a Premier League club involved, not sure which one, uh, not that it really matters. And they were saying that the American owners, they don't understand the Premier League system of relegation, promotion, that kind of stuff. And that really emphasizes the point of why this whole thing has been set up. Because these people, these dumb fucks, don't understand the prestige of you know potentially getting relegated or being promoted i mean if we take of one example leeds right you look at leeds where they've come in their history and i don't know their full history so do excuse me but if you look at leeds's history over the course of the english leagues you know they've progressed from wherever they started down in the bottoms right they've progressed up and up through the ranks they've gone up into the the EFL, the, the championship uh, and now they've progressed into the Premier League and they're actually doing quite well. You know, where are they currently in the league? Let's have a quick look, actually. Uh, so I've got it here for reference. So they're 10th in the league. Now, bear in mind, Arsenal's 9th. We're fucking shit, right? But Leeds, who have come up through the ranks, through the EFL, through the Championship, up into the Premier League and smashed it. Bear in mind, okay, next season they may not stay. They may go down. But that's the point, right? That's the point of the Premier League. That's the point of the competition, that's what we week in week out want to see and uh, for me arsenal you know i love arsenal throughout you know that's why my blood's red <laughs> yeah but anyway um yeah i love arsenal um i always loved arsenal since as far back as i can remember um and look at the start of the season we had right it was atrocious we were in a relegation battle but to me okay yeah seeing us getting relegated would have been horrendous you know would have been horrible but that's the price you pay 
for doing bad. You, no one's entitled to win anything. You can't buy a win in the Premier League. If you're shit, you're shit and you lose. You, If you lose that bad and you get relegated, so be it. You've got to work your way back up and, and prove that you are worthy of staying in this competition. You don't just get chosen as a big name and get to stay in this league that you, you play for what? for money basically you're just playing for money there's no prestige you you get to the top you're winning it all say like i don't know barcelona they're at the top of the super league and uh they go through to the knockout rounds and they win it all they win a load of money cool and it starts over again if you lose it you're at the bottom if arsenal keep losing in the super league if we join and um we're at the bottom it doesn't mean anything it's just going to be okay we've lost we come last and we either get the less amount of money or whatever it is and uh, next season comes around and it is what it is same just repeat repeat after repeat but anyway the point i was trying to make was watching arsenal potentially get relegated was to me just as exciting as us potentially winning it because you know obviously obviously i don't want to see us get relegated nobody wants to see their team get relegated that's not the point but you know having us have that struggle and and the potential fight back and hopefully seeing us bring up a bit more of a form which we did you know we we gained some form and uh, yeah, we brought, we brought it back. Maybe not to a, a you know a desirable level, being ninth, but we still brought it back from relegation. And that whole that whole aspect of competition um, is what I strive for. Whether you're winning or losing, it doesn't matter. Every team wins and loses. No one is entitled to a win, like I've mentioned. And you know, you look at the Champions League. I don't see. Also, I'm a scatterbrain. I know, but um, I don't understand why they want to change the format of what we've got. Obviously, the Premier League is historic. You know, it, it's 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 amazing. The whole system of if you're in the bottom three, like I'm looking at the table here, you've got Fulham, West Brom, Sheffield. If it was to stay like that, those get relegated. It is what it is. You know, you're down into the the next league, and then you've got to prove yourself of being worthy of the the the, the Premier League, and also the the teams who win get to come up and and try and prove themselves uh, in place of the ones who who went down. So. It's that level of competition that isn't there with the Super League. There's no competition. It's just money. And um, yeah, it's, just, it's disgraceful. It really is. It's disgraceful and disgusting that these clubs and the club that I love, Arsenal, it's sad. It's saddening to the core that they would even consider this without even consulting players, fans, manager. I'm sure most managers, like I know Manchester United, like uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Solskjaer he didn't have much of a clue what was going on, I think, yesterday when it was announced. Um, so it's clear to say and clear to see that uh, the owners don't consult anyone but themselves. They just they think of the money. It was pretty much a snap decision. Like they, they got offered however much money they got. And it was like, yeah, cool. Yeah, we're going to Super League now. Throw away everything in the Premier League. They didn't care about the history. They don't care about the players, the fans, anything. Um, but yeah, the point I was going off before I went on a tangent was uh yeah look at the Champions League right last Champions League season Bayern Munich smashed it they won it they won pretty much every single game they killed it and um you know it is what it is but this time around they they're knocked out they obviously got knocked out by PSG but that could literally have been anybody you know that's the point is that just because you've won it one season doesn't mean you're entitled to win it again um just because you're the best in the world doesn't mean you you can't be beaten by anybody and um i can't remember who they played but spurs in the europa league they played um like a czech team was it i can't i honestly can't remember was it prague genuinely can't remember but either way they played like a underdog team that you know spurs were the favorite to win and they lost and that's the way it goes sometimes you you don't uh you don't buy wins you don't buy wins in football and um that's the way it should stay that's the way it should stay. And I'm just, I'm just sad, just really sad that, uh, you know, like I say, obviously the whole thing, this whole thing affects Arsenal. And I really hope that they uh, revoke their decision to um, go into this because if they do, obviously UEFA have come out and said that uh, any players uh, that are a part of the clubs that do join the Super League will be banned from Champions League, World Cup, Euro, um, Europa League, and obviously the Euros. And obviously the clubs in the Premier League and I'm sure clubs in other leagues as well that do join the Super League will be banned from their domestic leagues. And that's fucking sad. That's fucking sad. Like, um, what is a Premier League without 
the big name teams to you know they're they're the they're the big dogs you want to beat surely as like a as like a Leicester team or I know Crystal Palace or Wolves surely when you go to play Man City or I know Man Manchester United or Liverpool or Chelsea surely you're going going into that thinking they're a big team right Liverpool won it last season they're the they're the ones to beat you know um, and if we beat them that's incredible obviously you don't get you don't get like massive rewards for it besides obviously the points and you know the 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 league positions but you know the uh i don't want to say bragging rights but it's kind of like that it's like you know we're coming to beat you basically and if we don't we don't but if we do then we do and that's that's the idea um i can't remember exactly my point but either way yeah like what is what is the premier league without those big name teams and obviously without those the premier league will keep going but it will just be you know, whoever's the big six without Arsenal, Tottenham, Liverpool, Chelsea, Manchester United, Man City and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's 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 disgraceful. It's disgraceful. And I really hope, and it's sad to say because I don't want to see Arsenal punished or, or whatever, but I, they, they deserve it. They deserve it. I think all teams that have agreed and are, or have agreed to this proposal for the Super League deserve sanctions they deserve to be either removed from their domestic leagues and put into the one below i i don't really know i know there was rumors and thoughts going around that they um uefa wanted to ban all all clubs and put them into their fifth league of each domestic league and i don't know if that's the case but if that is they deserve it you know 100 percent arsenal they deserve it they deserve fines um to be banned all that kind of stuff um there's no no favoritism like obviously not just arsenal all the other clubs as well but um you know going off my club arsenal they do deserve what's coming to them because it's sickening and i really hope that the players of these clubs do come out and protest maybe go on strike or or refuse to play um if this proposal goes ahead because it it's uh it's completely against everything that we love about football it's completely against the spirit of football it's completely against everything like football shouldn't be just about the money um i don't fully understand like how they think they can get away with it like how they think they can join the super league earn billions of money uh or or billions of dollars sorry or pounds or whatever um buy the best players and still continue to play their domestic leagues and whatever they i know the statement was from a few clubs saying that they wanted to obviously join the super league earn bank and continue to play champions league domestic football like fuck off no that that is it's horrendous that that thought can even be a thing like you know we want to have this thing where we can earn i think the joining fee was like three billion dollars or something like imagine what they could do with that if they bought like arsenal if they got three billion dollars and brought in mbappe neymar harland you know all the top name players and then like it destroys the ferity. It destroys the ferity and competition of leagues. And it's 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 sick that they think they can just join the Super League and continue to do what they're normally doing. Like nothing's changed. It's um disgraceful. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I know this video is probably a bit bit all over the place. I do want to just I, I'm just trying to get my thoughts and my opinions across because it's all come out over the past 24 hours. And um yeah, it, it's a lot to take in. As a football fan, um, you know, obviously Arsenal through and through, that's my main club, Arsenal. But when you come down to it, I'm a fan of football. Like, I go into the Champions League uh, excited to watch PSG versus Bayern. You know, that was a huge game. Um, huge game. Doesn't always, always have to be a goal fest, but, you know, I, I love I love watching these competitions. I love watching these games of competition. No, no matter who it is, Man City versus who are they playing? Are they playing PSG? think there might be i think it's real madrid and chelsea which i'm excited to see as well you know it's not just the big name teams i love to watch exciting games i love to watch just football you know just football in general whatever it is i've watched women's league uh the women's world cup obviously the world cup the euros the europa league uh, you know manchester united in the uh in the europa league i like i like to watch uh like um clubs struggle i like to watch their progression everything that's that's the point of football uh, it's everything. So I'm a huge fan of football when it comes down to it. I don't really have this hatred towards any club. Um, 
you know, I know this rival between Arsenal and Tottenham, Arsenal, Manchester United, whatever. You know, clubs are clubs and uh, I enjoy watching everybody. Um, that's the point. But obviously, my allegiance is to Arsenal, um, which may not be for much longer. So, yeah, um, I'm a huge fan of football, which is the point. And it's, uh, yeah, it, it's it's killing everything. It's killing everything that we, we know and love. Um, so I hope that... Everybody, no matter what club you support, what fan, or what um, club you're a fan of, I hope that we can band together, unite as one, and stand against this um, this travesty of a league, this uh, serial killer league, because that's all it is. That's all it is. They're looking to just make more money. That's really that's. It's just greed. It's just plain greed. Um, and it's it's atrocious. Um, like yeah, they don't care about what damage they do to to the leagues. They always say like I know the statement they came out and said was it, the money will be passed down to to grassroots and and, and leagues and like that. it's bollocks. It's complete bollocks. It's all just so all the big name players or the rich can get richer and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it's disgraceful. It really is. It's disgraceful. And I. I'm ashamed to be an Arsenal fan. I was ashamed to be an Arsenal fan when this whole... I saw them post on Twitter about them being a founding club of this 12 league... Uh, 12 club, sorry, uh, Super League at the moment. And yeah, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed to say that I have any allegiance to Arsenal. I'm ashamed to say that I support Arsenal because I... At this moment in time, I'm not an Arsenal supporter. I'm just I'm just a football fan. Um, it Yeah, I... I can't, I can't work it out. I can't, I don't know. It's uh, like this club you support for, and obviously for me it's Arsenal, but for anybody it could be any team. But to see them potentially throw away everything they've worked so hard towards, the history, the heritage, you know, the past, the future, throw everything away just for some money. Some money. And what good is that going to do any club? What good is that going to do any club that joins this Super League? Because they're going to get money. Yeah, fine, whatever. They've got money, but then they're going to be banned from the World Cup, domestic leagues, Champions League, Europa League, Euros. I, I if I was a player of like Saka, for example, an upcoming talent, not only for Arsenal, um, for any potential club that he could future sign for, maybe Barcelona, Real Madrid, you know, whatever. Um, but also his national career, I would be appalled. To, to hear that, you know, if my club joins this Super League, I can't do that. I'll be banned from the World Cup. That would be horrendous. Um, like, imagine if the Super League was around back when R9 and stuff was around. You wouldn't have seen R9 at the World Cup, Ronaldinho, Kaka, you know, to name a few big name players. Um, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just sad. It really is just sad. And, um, uh, I do apologise about this video. I know it's probably all over the place. Like I've mentioned, I just wanted to kind of get my thoughts and um, my opinions and everything that's well, well, trying to relay everything that's kind of going on in my head because it's very, it's very scatterbrained and uh, I'm trying to relay points um, as they come. But obviously, I keep diverting off to different ones and it's, it's whatever. So it's a bit of a mess. So, like I mentioned, there'll probably be a couple of videos above me. So if you did want to watch something else, you're more than welcome to. I, I really. I really don't mind. I just wanted to kind of get my thoughts and opinions across about this because I, I I think this whole Super League in itself is a disgrace. It's a complete travesty and and it goes against everything that football stands for. Um, football is about competition, winning and losing, no matter how good, like a, I said this on Twitter, um, that, you know, when, when players were getting, I, I know a few players from Manchester United were getting racially abused on Instagram and Twitter because they uh, had a bad performance and they lost the football match. I know a few players from Liverpool uh, were the same. I know a few players from Arsenal have got that as well. Um, and it's disgusting. It's disgusting that fans think that because they believe they're the best in the world, no matter which team you support, you always think you're probably the best. But um, but some people who maybe support Man City, for example, or Real Madrid or Barcelona think that they should never lose games. But that's not the point. Like I've said before, you're not entitled to ever win a game. You know, a game is, a game can be won by 
a single lucky goal, a deflection, anything, it, it, you know, a good piece of skill or, you know, a driving run, a bit of momentum, a bit of luck, uh, obviously, like I mentioned, or, you know, a really good performance. That, it, a game can be won by anything. It doesn't matter who you are. Every team loses. Every team wins at some point. You know, some teams win, sometimes, you know, some sometimes teams win more, some teams win less. It is what it is. That's football. And that's what it should be about. Not about just playing the same teams over and over again with no repercussions for what happens. Because where's what's the point? What is the point? Um, and that's why, you know, I think football football is so important, especially in this uh, in this country. What we've got going on with the whole uh, pyramid leagues and what have you um, is so fundamental for what we've got. And it allows anybody to progress. Whereas obviously you can't progress into the Super League. You are chosen by whoever the fuck. Uh, apparently, if you're a big brand name club, you'll be in. Um, I don't know who chose this. I don't know who chose this as well, because, I mean, over the past few years, I would say um, uh, Leicester has been a, a top six and not Arsenal. I don't know who chose Arsenal, um, because we've been pretty shit over the past few years. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, going back to maybe 2016, 2017, that kind of stuff, we were, you know, up there, top four, top three, that kind of stuff, but very quickly dropped off. And I, I, obviously, 2016, 2015, 16 season, I believe it was, when... Um, Leicester won, they did. I would I would say, and obviously you've got Southampton at six as well. Like, I don't get it. I don't get how they've chosen the big six. It doesn't make any sense. But regardless, anyway, um, there's no there's no ferity in it. There's no ferity in it. It destroys it destroys everything that we know and love about football. So I'm just appalled. I'm I, I genuinely just appalled with my football club. I really am. I'm sure, and I've seen on Twitter, I, I, I know for a fact that everybody who supports different teams like Liverpool, Manchester United are, are in exactly the same boat. They're appalled and disgusted by their football club, by their owners, uh, that they would even do this. And the, the worst part is, and I know this has been a common point that's been going around, but I think it's worth reiterating, is the fact that they they've chose to do it now because they're oh, they they're incredibly snaky ratty human beings because we're in a pandemic we've all been forced to stay at home nobody stayed we haven't been staying at home out of choice right admittedly for me personally my situation I, I can't always go and see arsenal live at a stadium one because uh traveling costs and all that kind of stuff and money itself time work you know i do have a I, well, at the time, I did have a full-time job anyway, so it was very difficult for me to find the time, um, which also lined up to when Arsenal was playing. I couldn't, it just wasn't feasible. So um, whether some people like it or not, but I was a stay-at-home fan. I watched pretty much every single Arsenal game, uh, BT Sport and all that kind of stuff. So I, I always tried to support them that way, whereas I couldn't always go to the games. And with this pandemic, nobody's been able to do that. You can't go and see your favourite team play football. Um, you've had to either watch it at home or not watch it at all. Um, and it's disgraceful that they've chosen now to announce the announcement when there aren't fans in the stadium, when um, basically they think that they can just get away with it because, um, like, uh, they've chose to do it now on purpose. They haven't waited a few months when lockdown officially ends and all that kind of stuff because there'd be there'd be even more backlash. I, I think it would be... I'd like to say shut down immediately, but I, I genuinely don't know. I genuinely don't know. Um, but yeah, they, they've done it on purpose. They really have. And they, they just completely disregarded the fans, the, you know, everything. Like I said, the heritage, the, the prestige of every football club. Um, you know, throwing away every title that you've ever won as a Premier League team, if you have won one or multiple Premier League trophies. I know Manchester United for a very prime example, um, throwing away everything, everything they've earned over however many years is uh, is disgraceful. And for me personally, Arsenal, I know we haven't won the Premier League that many times, but we're still, it, it, it completely undermines everything we've worked towards to get to this position. Admittedly, we're not doing very well, but we've got to this position. It 
That's what I say. Uh, I've said this before, and that's what it's about. It's about losing, understanding that sometimes you're not quite as good and bouncing back, becoming that that top team that maybe you always once were or or maybe never were and becoming that top team. Again, look at Leicester, right? They they were Premier League fodder for a lot of a lot of the time and suddenly out of nowhere they became Premier League champions and that's that's insane. That's insane. Without the big six uh, or at least some of the big names in the leagues doing that again won't mean as much in my opinion it won't mean as much um so yeah uh, those moments will be lost lost into the history books and that's sad that's real sad like um imagine a champions league without real madrid barcelona man city um like uh, juventus all these big name teams that make all these uh, that make the games exciting, not because they win every game, but because there's a chance they could lose as well. Like, um, you know, forgive me for not exactly knowing the facts here, but whatever year it was in the Champions League when Ajax beat Juventus, that's insane. Like Ajax in that uh, Champions League, se- that Champions League season went on a mad run. You know, they won game after game after game, beat. Um, they beat Juventus, I believe it was. And uh, did they, I don't know if they beat Real Madrid or if they came close, but regardless, either way, the point still stands is that we've got all these big name clubs and everything that make all these competitions really exciting because sometimes they do win it all. Sometimes they do go go on and have some mad form, score some crazy goals and, and win the, you know, win, win the ultimate Champions League Cup. I know obviously Real Madrid have done that for a while when they had Ronaldo, but um, yeah, there's always a chance that these lower... Uh, lower end teams these underdogs can come through and potentially win it all that's what makes football so exciting is there's always a chance that anything can happen like I say big name teams can sometimes win it all sometimes smaller smaller name teams can also do the same again point point in uh in proven with Leicester City uh, nobody expected them to win the the Premier League title I'm sure during the middle of the season nobody expected them to to go on and actually win it all um and they did and they killed it and it's insane it really is insane and if this super league goes ahead that's that's going to be a thing of the past um and that's what makes everything so sad um because that's what that's that's the drive of football the competition i don't i really hope as football fans across the world that we can stand and unite against the super league um boycott it don't follow the club that you support blindly into this Super League. Um, don't support the games. Don't support the the franchise itself. Watch it die. Um, if it goes ahead, w- watch it die from a distance. Don't support the teams. Maybe go and support someone else like Wolves. They deserve it. <laughs> like, why not? But just do everything we can in our power. And I, I'm, I'm not exactly an influence across uh, the internet but I'm trying to do everything I can against Arsenal to boycott the club and well maybe not boycott but uh, protest that um, this is not what I want as a fan and I hope that fans across the world and wherever wherever it might be that uh, we do the same for whatever club it is that's involved we do this and try and kill it and stop it before it becomes this huge problem uh because it will it will kill football as we know it um and the, i i can't imagine a day without football i really can't it's what makes me want to watch the games um obviously with the premier league with arsenal i want to watch arsenal do well or bad i just want to watch arsenal <clears throat> i just want to watch arsenal play uh it's what makes me want to play fifa like what's you know what's it's that's what drives my content on the channel you know i obviously I, on fifa i do a kind of it wasn't really meant to be but it's kind of turned into a past and present arsenal road to glory i love playing with arsenal i love um you know supporting and representing my team in a video game and it's what uh makes it so much more fun to me and obviously without arsenal in fifa without arsenal in the premier league what's the point where where do i go <laughs> like what, what what you know I'm not going to support Arsenal into the Super League. I think it's atrocious. I don't agree with it. Uh, It's all about greed and money. And that's not what football's about. 
it's not money football isn't about the money obviously money is what um you know keeps clubs running and keeps everything businesses everything around the world running but that's not what it's about that's not what it should be about um so all of these americanized or american owners trying to americanize football having it this closed off league where nobody goes down nobody gets relegated nobody gets promoted it all just kind of recycles into this one big mess is a joke a complete joke and like i reiterate my point of in that video from sky sports news where the the owner from one of the clubs probably the glazers they don't understand the regulation uh, the the relegation sorry and the promotion idea of of english football they don't get it they can't get their head around the concept and i don't for me uh, maybe it's because i'm english and i i've watched the premier league for years and years and years it's just become natural but um pretty much every league has got it every league has got relegation battles uh promotion battles you know title challenges um it, it's what makes the competition so exciting and, and again i go back to the point of when arsenal was in this relegation battle this season you know that to me was just as exciting to watch arsenal um you know have this kind of battle as it would be if they were battling for the title again the point goes back is i don't i don't want them to get relegated my point isn't us like oh come on let's get relegated it's it's the that idea that okay we're not doing so well but i believe and i support my club that we can bounce back and find some form and and start winning again and that's the point um I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Hopefully, I'm making some sense. If not, then do let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and your opinions. Uh, I've tried to keep as calm and composed and to the point as possible. Um, I think everyone maybe is feeling somewhat the same. But uh, yeah, do do let me know in the comment section below what you think of this whole Super League. You know, I'm not opposed to anybody who agrees with it. Uh, I'm not opposed to anybody who disagrees with it. Your opinion is your opinion. If you agree with it, so be it. I, I don't agree with that myself, um, but let me know. If, if you've got a reason why you do agree with it, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and of course, if you don't, let me know as well. I'd love to hear anybody's opinions on this. Um, but yeah, I think it's disgraceful. And um, there's there's part of me that really, really does believe that this won't, this won't go ahead. Um, for the sake of football, for the sake of the Premier League, for the sake of the Champions League, whatever... Um, I, I, I believe strongly that it won't go ahead, but there's also part of me that is very concerned that it actually might. And, um, yeah, uh, I, uh, I can't say, like I, I think I've said a few times before, but at this moment in time, currently I'm not an Arsenal supporter, have been for years, but yesterday was the day that I really took a stand and said, no, I'm not. I, I can't support this. I can't support Arsenal de Arsenal's decision to, you know, throw everything back in the face of the fans um, for some money. It's uh, it's a joke. It really is a joke. Um, so, yeah, if um, if Arsenal do eventually, or if they ever do join the Super League, then that's probably it for me. That's probably it for me as an Arsenal fan. Um, it's sad, and I I didn't I never want to say that because. I love Arsenal. It's a, you know, I've got shirts, um, all this kind of stuff. So, yeah, I don't know where it kind of goes from here as in the way of supporting football. I guess we either find a new team to support or um, or call it quits. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. It's a sad, it's a sad, sad day. You can only hope that obviously the, the fans outrage, which has been uh, very apparent across all social medias, across all platforms, YouTube, everything. Everybody seems to, well, I seem, I say everybody, but I think like 98% of people dislike this idea wholeheartedly. Um, obviously, the, there's a small minority percentage that I think that do agree with it or maybe don't understand it fully. So they do, uh, they, they, they go ahead with it. But yeah, we need to, um, we need to band as one and stop this from from ever happening i think is is the biggest thing so yeah but there we go there's uh there's this video it's probably a long one and i do apologize um i, I do apologize if i haven't made any of my points clear I try to obviously keep um keep as as many facts as i know in this video but like i say i don't know everything 
obviously I'm not a genius, but I'm just, this video is just for me trying to get my opinions, my thoughts, everything that's kind of going on in my head. Like I say, it's very scatterbrained about this because of the involvement of Arsenal, which uh, obviously affects me, is why I wanted to kind of give across some opinions and thoughts and 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 you know just what's what's really going on at the moment so um yeah like i said let me know in the comment section below what you uh, what you think about this uh whole super league shit in the comment section below um but besides that i do hope you enjoyed if you did do drop it a like that'd be very very much appreciated um there might be an, another video out on the channel a bit later on this evening a bit more upbeat you know maybe road to glory maybe some draft or something a little different to uh you know to hopefully to hopefully forget about all this all, all this nonsense but uh yeah so do look out for that there might be i can't make any promises i'll see what see what i can do but um yeah regardless i do hope you enjoyed if you did drop it a like that of course be very much appreciated from seeing more of this content and you haven't already do um do consider hitting that subscribe button that'll of course be very very much appreciated um but with that said i do hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and as always Hashtag fuck the Super League.